Hello some viewers how are you all welcome back to another video guys in this video we are going to see how to generate a random number in jmeter without any further ado let us start the video so now guys in thread group you can see i can add a config element in the config element i will have so you can see here random variable i'll click on the random variable so i'll keep this random variable in the top of http request so okay now so let me open the api which we are going to test with random variable this is the api which is a free api you can see if i give page 1 so i'm getting some data if i give page 2 i'm getting some other data if i up to 9 if i give 9 so i will get some data but it will not be a proper data i think up to 3 it will be have it will be having a proper data me one or two it is working so what i want to do instead of entering manually i want to enter this dynamically so let me copy this so let me open uh, my jmeter so in http request i'll go to basic i'll copy this in https i'll cut it i'll paste it here in protocol so i want request dot in to be my server name this one i want it to be a random number random i'm just writing now i'll define this random in my random variable so now the variable will be random so format will be 0 minimum value is 1 maximum value is 9 so seed for random function we are not giving here so now this random variable will be my variable to use during run time so one more thing i'll add i'll add a listener which is view result string so let me execute only for once let me run it so don't want to save for now so i got the request i got the response also see it took page 5 and the response data will be like this okay so i have 1 2 9 right so let me open the thread group i'll give for let's say 9 iterations okay so let me clear this now i'll run the 9 iterations so you can see all the time it got passed so let's see the first time let's see what it gave 2 1 1 4 2 6 2 3 so all the time would have got the data so we'll see the response data we got the response data this is one of the ways you can use random variable to run many tests generating randomly to see the performance of a website which has dynamic values so that's it for the video guys if you like the video please click on like if you are a new viewer please click on subscribe Till then guys take care have a great day bye bye